Lots of folks who are building SaaS businesses, software as a service, want to figure out a strategy for doing early access, for you know, building a mailing list of interested people and then doing pre-sales or early access in order to eventually you know, get feedback and uh, develop the product more, understand what people want, are willing to pay for. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do early access with Meeps. And we're actually using this for our own product right now uh, for Meeps. And um, this is a no-code tool that you can use right away. You can start getting people to pay you and then give them perks for joining the early access. And uh, I can show you how we're managing all of that. So this is what the Meeps homepage looks like right now. And we're, this is all built using the Meeps tool, which is right here. And uh, you can even build this homepage. So the homepage you see was built with Meeps. I can edit this if I want to. Uh, I could call this online membership if I want to and uh, change that. So it's a homepage builder and then a way to build up leads, so a waiting list, and then a way of charging for early access plans. So we've got our early access plan here. It's connected to Stripe and we have all of our benefits listed here. So I just sent uh, a newsletter where um, I invited everyone on the waiting list. We had a waiting list of 773 people. Um, I Here, I'll show you the actual newsletter itself. So I used this newsletter to invite people to sign up for early access. And basically, what that allows them to do is sign up here. So I've got a little video explaining what's going on, but let's just, I'll sign up as a member myself. So I put in my email. Here is the payment form. I'm gonna put in my uh, information and I'm just gonna switch back to camera here so I can put in my credit card info with, without you folks seeing it. And then you will get to see, um, yeah, what happens once I once I join. So I'm gonna put uh, let's put. All right, so I'm gonna click join, and. Now, I get taken to this screen here. I get to choose my bio for the membership profile. Let's just put uh, co-founder of Transistor.fm, podcast hosting and analytics. Get to put where I live. Co-founder. And I might put marketing. And I'll put my Twitter bio as well. So not only will does Meeps, in this case, get this information, the, the early access SaaS, um, but the person signing up for early access can choose to keep this, po this profile private if they want, or to make it visible to all other early access members or to make it visible to everybody. So it's one of the perks for joining the early access of Meeps in this case, is you can have your profile on our website. If we go there right now, uh, you can see the folks who are uh, who have already joined as members, right? So I'm gonna click next. Now I get to join the Discord server. I'm gonna click that. Let's open me up. Here I am in the 
private Meeps Discord server. Uh, and the way we've set this up is we have a general chat where people are joining here. We're gonna have some live streaming events, ideas and feedback. So as people join the early access uh, and get access to the software, they can give us feedback and ideas right here. Resources and links, uh, in this case for how do you build community as you launch you know, your early access, and then a channel for bugs. So let's go back to Meeps now, click Finish, and now I have a profile here in, uh, here in Meeps, and uh, I can even edit this if I want to, but now I'm like, it, this is kind of neat for early access members because they can uh, publicize that they're supporters of your project in the same way that they might on Kickstarter or Patreon or whatever. Uh, this allows you to create kind of your own little mini Kickstarter where people can join, set up their profile, and then um, show themselves as supporters. And of course, we also have our, uh, our link to Discord. If I go to the homepage now, I have uh, just a message that says, hey, here's your me member benefits. Thanks for becoming an early access user. And I could have other instructions like, here's how to you know, finish creating your account in terms of the actual software that we're providing. Um, but yeah, you can put all that information here. And that is, uh, you can edit that right here. So the member homepage, uh, I could say, we'll contact you shortly and ask you uh, and help you set up your own Meeps community. Yeah, so I can save that and then um, that will be reflected here in the, the message to members when they log in. So yeah, some, some really crucial elements here. And now of course, I can also set up a email sequence for just members. So if we go to sequences, I have a member welcome sequence where I take people through, you know, here's how to join the Discord, here's a few things to help you get started. If you've had a week with Meeps so far, have you been able to get it set up? Um, so uh, onboarding emails for your early access can all be done right here inside of Meeps. It's pretty cool. I think this is the best way to do early access for your software product, any other digital products like a online course, uh, any sort of Kickstarter project, any sort of new community. And um, if you are planning on using community as the foundation for your product, you know, a lot of software companies now are building communities of customers. I can't think of a better way to form the foundation of that community than to use Meeps for your early access and uh, you're, you're essentially you're building community from day one, right? You're gonna have the member profiles right there. You're gonna have your Discord chat or your Slack chat set up. Um, you're going to have your newsletter. You're going to have member resources, a page for member resources. It's all right there and uh, you can get started on it now instead of waiting till after you've launched the product and you know six months later you'll have time for it. Get started on it now because the most crucial time in a product launch is actually the time before you launch when you're building anticipation uh, for the product itself, when you're inviting people to be a part of the journey, when you're inviting people to give you their ideas and feedback. And if you are going to collect ideas and feedback, Really, it should be from paying customers, people who are willing to put down money and uh, join you on the journey, uh, get access to the software early, and then give you real feedback because they're the kinds of customers you want to attract, right? Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.